Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'll demonstrate to you how you can license your real flow on the skater pack using Telepis Studio. So I've got a program here in Telepis, Telepis Studio, I'm sorry. I'm gonna launch that guy. Okay, once that's loaded, I'm gonna set up in such a way that I'm gonna use Modbus TCP. Previously, I've demonstrated using USB, and this time around, I'm going to use Modbus TCP. So I've already set up my computer, or rather the skater pack, to talk using certain IP address. So if you haven't set that up, you will find your IP address by clicking on IP here. And this is your IP address that uh, your skater pack is set up for. Another thing that you have to do is you click on Configure, Setting. And this IP address has to be the IP address of the skater pack. And the station number is one here. This is a Modbus station address. You can configure that on this section here. And this is your Modbus station address. And this is selected to TCP. With that being done, uh, you can click on Controller Skater Pack 334. And a couple of things you have to know is that uh, you got to note the controller ID. It starts with B followed by six numbers. And this B followed by six number is what you have to provide to Cymark or SFC now, I guess. Uh, it's a company who actually owns the software. Uh, and then what they'll do is that they'll take this controller ID and give you a code. A code is an alphanumeric number. It's a series of eight numbers that you have to enter in this section here on activation. Another thing you can do, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click back here again. And I think another thing that you should give, not only the controller ID, is your serial number. Serial number is actually a white sticker placed on top of your motherboard. If you remove the black cover on the skater pack, there's a white sticker that starts with S and followed by six numbers after that. So once that's done, like I said, uh, Cymark or SFC will give you an alphanumeric eight numbers and that's what you enter. So this skater pack, uh, we've purchased it such that uh, we're going to do uh, uh, three gas, uh, three liquids and three water. So what you have to do is that you got to go here and select standard. Once you select standard, and I know we have bought the license for three gas, three liquids, and three water. And after that, you're going to have to enter the activation code. But before you enter the active activation code, I want to bring your attention to this guy here. You can see right now, this skater pack is not licensed for real flow. You can see flow type none gas flow run nothing and gas transmission nothing so once i enter this and hit apply and if it's correct the standard three gas three liquid three water and disable will be populated here let me show you what i mean by that i'm going to en start entering my activation code once you enter your activation code here again it is eight alphanumeric number Hit apply. You can see that the standard is copied from here. Three gas tea liquid from here and disable. So once I go back again, go back there again, you can see that they are correctly configured. So now you can start loading your real flow configuration and actually start doing it. But before you do that, you're going to have to load the C program. Uh, which takes an uh, awfully long time, so it's best to do using a USB cable nevertheless. Uh, TCP cable will take you anywhere between one to two hours depending on how fast your network is, and USB takes about 30 minutes, so just something to be aware of. Anyway, I hope this small little tip helps you. Other than that, you have a good day. Bye.